In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add pupil accounts. If you only want to add a small number of pupils, it's easy to do so using the Add New Pupil button found on the My Pupils page. You'll then be taken to a form that asks for some details, including creating a username and password for the pupils account. This allows pupils to log in themselves without needing their parents' account details. The username set for a pupil doesn't need to be an email address as long as it is unique and case sensitive. If pupils have an email address, it is helpful to use this because it allows them to reset their own password easily. You can learn how to reset your password in our logging in and registering tutorial. When creating a pupil account this way, there are several things you can do. You need to enter your child's date of birth, gender, and if you're a school or tutoring centre, you may want to assign them a tutor, a parent account, or a group. You can learn more about groups and how to create them in the tutorial Creating Groups and Classes. If you're creating a pupil account to use our formative assessment products, you can also edit the settings for those on this page too. Having one centralised account means that pupils can use the same login details for all of our sites. I can now save that information, save and add another pupil, or if I've already purchased a subscription, I can save and activate. For users wanting to import bigger groups of pupils, then the import pupils shortcut is the best way to do that. You can find it in the My Account sidebar. On this page, we have a spreadsheet template you can download here and then input the pupil data we need to create their accounts. There are notes on the page that explain exactly what pupil information we need. And once you're done, upload the CSV file here and click import pupils. We'll then create the pupil accounts for you and they'll be ready for you to activate. As you can see, these accounts are active and these accounts have not been activated yet. You'll need to activate your pupil accounts to give them access to all both the features and use the classroom. You can find out how to do that with our purchasing subscriptions and activating pupils tutorial.